Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Kausal Wise and this is the continuation video of cost of capital. So far we have discussed cost of debt and cost of preference shares. You can find the playlist link in the description box. Now in this video we are going to see cost of equity capital. So it has five different models. We are going to see one by one along with the numerical problem. Now let's see the first one that is dividend yield or dividend price method. Okay. See, we have two different formulas. So, this is the formula for new shares and this is the formula for existing shares. For new shares, the formula is KE is equal to, KE denotes cost of equity. So, KE is equal to D1 divided by NP into 100. So, D1 means dividend per share, NP means net proceeds per share into 100. For existing share, instead of NP, you have to take market price per share. So, D1 divided by market price per share into 100. So, this is the formula for existing shares. Now, let's see the numerical problem for better understanding. See the problem. Alston Limited has a stable income and stable dividend policy. The average annual dividend payout is 25 rupees per share. So, this is the dividend okay, per share. Face value is 100 rupees. You are required to ascertain cost of equity capital okay and the second one cost of equity if the market price of the share is 160 and this one is a new shares and this one for existing share because market price is given in the problem no so the second model is a old that is existing share the first one is new shares okay the third one is a expected market price in year two if the cost of equity is expected to rise to 20 percentage okay so after finding the cost of equity for the present condition then you can calculate this one that is here they are asking you to find out market price if the cost of equity is raised to 20 percentage cost of equity is given with this information we are going to find out the market price okay missing figure the next one dividend payout in year two if the company were to have an expected market price of 170 per share. So, in this scenario, they have given the market price, okay, at the existing cost of equity. So, after finding the existing cost of equity, you can consider that value and market price also given in the problem. Here, the missing figure is dividend payout. We need to calculate the dividend, okay. So, these are the various scenarios where you can find all these elements with the help of the simple formula. What is the formula for cost of equity? KE is equal to D1 divided by NP or MP. NP for new shares. Okay. And MP for existing shares. Now let's see the solution for the four different cases. See the solution. First we are going to find out the cost of equity capital based on the information given in the problem. Okay. So what are the informations are there? The annual Dividend payout is 25 rupees per share. This is dividend. Okay. And the face value of the share that is net proceed of the share is 100 rupees. You are required to calculate cost of equity capital. So computation of cost of equity. What is the formula for new shares? Cost of equity. KE is equal to D1 divided by NP into 100. So D1 stands for dividend per share. How much dividend? 25 rupees. NP net proceeds that is the face value how much 100 rupees into 100 so G1 25 rupees per share divided by net proceed 100 rupees per share into 100 you will be getting 25 percentage so this is the cost of equity okay so according to the first calculation now let's see the second one see the second case uh, cost of equity if the market price of the share is 160, okay. So, what is the formula for cost of equity for the existing shares? The market price is given in the problem, no. So, this one is existing share. The formula is KE, that is cost of equity is equal to D1, that is dividend per share, divided by market price per share into 100, okay. So, market price is given in the problem, that is rupees 160 per share. So, how much dividend? Same thing, 25 rupees, no. So, 25 divided by market price 160 into 100. The cost of equity is 
15.63 percentage you can round up the figure so this is the cost of equity if the market price is given in the problem now let's see the third case see the third case expected market price in year two if cost of equity is expected to raise to 20 percentage in the third case they have given cost of equity the answer is given in the problem that is 20 percentage the question is they are asking us to find out market price okay we are going to apply the same formula but here the missing figure is market price the given information is uh, ke that is cost of equity is 20 percentage now let's see the calculation see the calculation okay so this is the formula that is the cost of equity is equal to dividend per share divided by market price per share into 100 so in this case they have given ke ke is 20 percentage dividend as usual 25 rupees per share so the missing figure is market price see the calculation ke 20 percentage dividend 25 rupees divided by mp so answer is given we have to find out the mp market price per share okay just cross multiplication mp is equal to 25 divided by 0.20 20 percentage no okay 0 0.20 so you will be getting rupees 125 per share so this is the market price per share if the cost of equity is 20 percentage okay now let's see the fourth case see the fourth case dividend payout in year two if the company were to have an expected market price of rupees 170 per share so the market price how much 170 at the existing cost of equity existing cost of equity is we can refer the first one so existing cost of equity what is the calculation see the first calculation see the first calculation the existing cost of equity is 25 percentage okay see the calculation computation of dividend per share here the question is we need to find out dividend per share if the market price is 170 at the existing cost of equity the cost of equity is 25 percentage no we have referred the first one 25 percentage so the cost of equity is given market price also is there so the missing figure is dividend per share you can use the same formula ke is equal to d1 divided by mp into 100 so ke how much 25 percentage d is missing figure divided by market price per share 170 so that d is equal to cross multiplication 170 into 25 percentage 170 into 25 percentage rupees 42.5 that is 42 rupees 50 pice so this is the dividend per share if the market price is 170 the cost of equity is 25 percentage okay so this is the way to calculate cost of equity according to dividend yield or dividend price method okay in the next video we are going to see the second model that is dividend price plus growth method you can find the playlist link in the description box for the entire collection of cost of capital okay hope you like this video please hit the like comment subscribe and share with your friends thank you